they did not see black people as human. The whole goal to have these people here was to build this country. Today you will see that the U.S. has never intentionally harmed anyone, and the history of events have been misconstrued. Today I will prove, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the defendant has indeed committed the crimes charged, as well as many more atrocities which have deeply affected its citizens. Jim Crow laws were stated as separate but equal but we know that they were separate and not equal. The state has invested more than a million dollars in incarcerating people. It was not about suspicious people, but about black people, Latino people. We've always been presumed guilty and dangerous. How can we say that all lives matter? When well, Eric Garner can be choked on camera and the officer who did it could get a pay raise. He said, I can't breathe 11 times. Policing is a responsibility of state. The way they move when they see a threat like a Malcolm. With that infrastructure already set up, all they had to do was like change the direction to target these black organizations. Conspiracy, stalking, harassment, aiding and abetting. And then they move to the next stage, which is, which is the physical assassination. They were determined to lynch Dick Rowland that night. After the massacre, we were charged, and not one white person was charged. Arson, fraud false imprisonment, assault with a deadly weapon. Yes, this nation has its flaws, just like any place else, but no other place values freedom the way America does. They make shit up. America has to right its wrongs. People are still being denied rights, still being held in cells without cause, still being treated differently because of income, gender, or race. Reparations will absolutely be a good start. This is all still happening. Prosecution attempts to divide this great nation. Where else on the planet can the people take their own country to trial?